bee venom extraction. Ahora sí, ya vamos a colocarnos ya los, los velos. Bee toxin has been tested all over the world, and that is something some wise researchers copied from indigenous people. What would they do when they got hurt? They would apply honey to any injury, and it has been discovered that it's the best antibiotic, that honey can have many uses. This venom that the bee has this toxin is holy for all types of rheumatoid problems. Everything that's osteoarthritis, rheumatism, it's commonly used throughout the world. All the indigenous communities of the world dominate the use of honey for all kinds of diseases, for lungs. It has many uses. And here we are going to start producing that apitoxin. As you can see, this is a trap, a very good one, very practical. It's able to collect a good quantity of apitoxin. The way the trap functions is with energy, with a battery, which passes an electric current for 8 seconds, then goes 8 seconds without, all so that the bees don't get electrocuted by the current that is going through, which is the minimum voltage. This trap stays approximately 20 to 25 minutes in the hive, 25 minutes to be more exact, and then you remove the trap. To acquire apitoxin, you need to have mature and very strong hives, otherwise your production will be minimal. We must turn them off. Once they're off, the bees can go free. Well, here we have a trap that collects toxins. Here I'm going to start the process of cultivation. It consists of, you take the glass out of this trap in order to start the process of collecting the toxin. Then, with the next tool, a pair of pliers grasping a blade. We start the process this way. Here we're starting to scrape the toxin that is concentrated on the glass. As you can see, the bees produce the toxin, which leaves behind a white powder that's already dry. This process must take place somewhere there is no ventilation, along with some gloves and mouth covers, so as not to inhale this powder because it can produce an allergic reaction. Here we have the toxin scraped from a hive. We then proceed to package it. To collect one gram of toxin, you need three hives. That's roughly the percentage needed to collect one gram of toxin. 